history lovers, welcome to this Tweet in History, the Week in Review, podcasting to you on tape delay from our North America studios. Here are your top stories for the week ending October 17th, 2009. World, Dateline Friends, October 13, 1894. Nabbed for Esterhazy's crime, defamed Dreyfus does decade on Devil's Isle before exoneration reinstatement. The Backstory. The Dreyfus Affair became a symbol of anti-Semitism in late 19th century France. Alfred Dreyfus, an immigrant from Germany and an officer in the French army, was convicted of treason for passing documents to the German and sent to Devil's Island. Some ten years later, when evidence surfaced that pointed to Walsen Esterhazy, Dreyfus had a retrial, but prosecutors suppressed the new information. Prominent writer Emile Zola wrote his famous Jacques, I accuse, treatise, Damning the legal shenanigans, and Dreyfus was eventually exonerated. He went on to continue a successful career as an army officer. Sports, Dateline, Edmonton, Canada, October 15, 1989. The Great One cruises past Mr. Hockey on point. The Backstory. Wayne Gretzky entered the game against his former team on their home ice, one point behind his idol, Gordy Howe's all-time record of 1,850 points. He scored early in the game to tie the record, and there it stood after two periods. Gretzky's body was so battered that he almost sat out the third period, but he soldiered on and scored a goal to tie the game and claim the record. In other news, Dateline Perth. October 12th, 1999. Somewhere in the world, six billionth human arrived. Birthday party as though it's 1999. The backstory. The United Nations Population Fund designated October 12th, 1999 as the day of six billion. According to their calculations, on that date, somewhere in the world, the six billionth human was born. While the date itself is disputed, with many researchers believing that number six billion arrived months earlier, it serves as a symbolic line in the sand which, now crossed, mandates attention from the nation. This week, birthdays, October 11, United States First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt, October 12th, civil rights activist Dick Gregory, October 13th, British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher, October 14th, colonialist William Penn, October 15th, Duchess Sarah Ferguson, October 16th, playwright Eugene O'Neill, and October 17th, playwright Arthur Miller. Thank you for joining us for this Tweet in History, the Week in Review. Be sure to follow us on twitter.com slash sistertweet, and check our archives at historytweet.blogspot.com.